Today, our friend Eric created for us the Cat Scratch Cocktail. We've got apple pucker. It's been a long time without the apple. This episode is sponsored by Stefan, Joseph, Linda, Ray, and Amy, and many others. Thanks for supporting the show. You can show your support by donating at everydaydrinkers.com slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Cat Scratch Cocktail. This recipe, submitted by Eric, has an ounce of three ingredients. Uh, three. Three. It's like the Randy Macho Man Savage way of doing one, two, three. Great. Um, we're going to use Midori, an ounce. Apple pucker. Yeah, we got an ounce. Citrus vodka. Sky. Infusions. All natural. Citrus. An ounce. Splash of pineapple juice. So I am thinking this guy could just be built in a cocktail glass. There was no instruction on that part. So... That's what I'm going to do. I think, what do you think? Sweet, sour, which one? Sweet. Sweet, you think Midori's going to overpower? And the pineapple juice, even though it's a splash. We've already discussed which is sweeter on That's the pineapple right. juice. And you were wrong. I was right. Get used to it. Ow, I think I just broke my wrist. Well, that's debatable on whether this is healthy. It's just sugar. I know. It's like caramelized on the top. I haven't used this for a while. Apparently, I didn't wash it. Or rinse it, rather. We got some citrus, though. That's kind of sour, except for it's not, because it's vodka. Apple pucker's pretty puckering, though. Great. So they named it well. Puck that. Puck, puck, puck. Okay, so just do a little, little splash there. See if we can pucker ourselves up. Don't pucker yourself. You're gonna be all puckered out. <laughs> all right. Ooh, not what I expected. I have no idea. It's like a unique new smell that just got invented. We can make this on scratch and sniff stickers. Scratch and sniff stickers. That's hard to say. Mm -hmm. Try and say scratch and sniff Here, stickers. Kid, smell this. <laughs> It's almost like caramel. Oh, maybe it's this. <laughs> mm. Like a Midori sour with apple. I don't know. It, it does have a sour component. Starts sweet. Midori. Ends with a sour vodka bite. A little bit. A little bit of a bite. And lemon. Even a little pineapple. Very acidic for what... I don't understand where that's coming from. Maybe maybe this is kind of some acidity to it. I don't really know. Definitely, it's it's almost like yesterday's cocktail. It's almost like the lemonade acidity with sweet and sour. So sweet start, sour finish, apple, citrus, all these play well in here. But for me, this is a drink that you... This is This is the size right here. One of these. I don't think I'd go back for multiple. I think that would be a little bit overkill just because it's there's a lot going on in your face. Um, question of the day. A lot going on in your face. So we asked Sweet Sour, um, what do you like better? Lemons or limes? Or maybe Granny Smith apples. Are you, you don't like Granny Smith apples, right? They're all right. I'm not a big fan of Granny Smith apples. Um, however, my daughter can eat a lime right off the rind. Mm -hmm. I guess it is. She's into limes. So what do you like? Lemons or limes? And which one do you feel fits best in a cocktail? Or do you like to bring them together in a sour mix? That's your question. That's your, well, our website. You can also see it on the top of YouTube if you go to our main channel. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink.